Hey, welcome back to video number three about affiliate marketing mistakes that you must avoid. All right, so I've already had two videos out and we've already covered six points in each video as well as a bonus point in each video. So if you enjoyed them, I'm glad you're back. I'm, I'm glad you're loving this series. Now in this video, we're going to be giving the five final mistakes that you 100% need to avoid as an affiliate marketer here in 2018. Let's get into it. Mistake number one of video part three is not finding the right products to promote. A lot of people tend to focus more on the amount of money they're going to make as opposed to the quality of the product as it aligns to their customers. So really the first thing you want to do is you want to build your audience. Once you build your audience, then you can find out how to actually monetize it. Most people go, uh, go about it the other way around. Um, now, both ways can be done. Yes, 100%. But I would honestly recommend building your audience first, you know, just leave with as much value as you can, you know, give everything of yourself three to six months, build that audience and then start monetizing it. And the way you do that is by finding the right products, even going into ClickBank, if you're going to do this thing 100% free, which I don't recommend you do, but if you wanted to, you can. So you can go into ClickBank, go to the marketplace and sort by the most relevant the most, the highest converting, the biggest sale amount, make sure you find something that's relevant to what it is that you're searching for. If, if your um, customers, for example, are 100% into, let's say, intermittent fasting, giving them a diet based on weight loss may not necessarily be the best thing. They, they may be a lot more interested in intermittent fasting, and that's the thing that you really need to dive into. Now, the second mistake is something that I've kind of touched upon before, and that's being a jack of all trades. Now, I did touch upon this in video number two, where I was talking about more of the shotgun method. So what you really need to do is be a sniper, all right? So these two interconnect. Being a jack of all trades, trying to, trying to do everything, but really not mastering anything is not going to get you anywhere. Just like having the shotgun approach of, you know what, I'm just going to throw as much out there as possible and see what actually happens. That's not going to work either. What you really want to do is you want to be a sniper. You want to pick one thing and you want to master it, whether it's a product, a particular service, a customer, or a niche, whatever the case may be. But pick one, master it before you move on to the next thing. So mistake number three is something that I see all the time, and that is being sales driven as opposed to content driven. Now, a lot of people are like, well, of course it's about sales. I'm getting in this business to make money. You talked about this earlier on in your series. 100% I did, okay? And there is nothing wrong with having monetary goals, but what you should really be focusing on is building the habits and the skills in order to create the content that is required to achieve everything that you want to achieve. Now, if you're still in this frame of mind and you're questioning why shouldn't it be about sales, why should it be more about content and skills, it's because you're still in the get rich quick mindset. And I really wanna help you try and shift out of that so that you can start building a legitimate business and assets moving forward from now on into the future. Because we need to get you out of that right, that mindset, otherwise you're gonna be stuck there as long as you hold on to it. So when I say being content driven, I'm talking about focusing on publishing stuff that actually helps people. Whether it's through a blog post, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is that your personality most resonates with, but I would highly suggest that you do video because it is by far the most powerful in the present and will be even more powerful in the future. I highly suggest that whatever the case is, you focus on mastering that, that platform. Focus on creating valuable content for your particular people that you want to bring in to whatever it is that you're doing. And if you produce enough valuable content for a long enough time, your level of authority will continue to rise and that's when you'll have your, your followership, right? That's when you'll have your audience and then that's when you can monetize it. Mistake number four that affiliate marketers must avoid in 2018. This is a big one and it is not having a mentor. You might be thinking, hang on, you already spoke in the earlier series, I believe it was video one, about not having a coach. Isn't that the same thing? Not in my opinion. Now, I've never actually looked this up in a dictionary, but this is the way I define it. A coach is somebody who is with you in the daily grind, right? They're, they're basically there, you know, available on Facebook to chat with you, or they're available on Voxer, or whatever method it is they're doing. Skype might be the case. They're in there with you, answering your everyday questions, where you're saying, hey, look, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I do this? How do I do that? So that's a coach. They're actually in you. They're actually there with you in the game on a day-to-day -day basis, helping you through all of your problems. But a mentor is somebody who is above all of that. A mentor is someone that you want to look at and go, this is where I want to be ultimately, right? That's my ultimate goal. Whether it takes me two, three, four, five years, that's where I want to be. So you need to have a coach, yes, just as I mentioned earlier on, but you also need to have a mentor. And a mentor is someone that you touch base with once a week, once a fortnight, once a month, 
once a quarter at the very, very least, but I would do a little bit more than that. And basically what you want to do is you kind of want to share with them at a basic level, okay? Mentors are very, very busy people. They're high production people. They don't have time to sit there and read, you know, a, a three-page uh, write-up of your day, okay? So what you really want to do is you want to send them maybe one or two sentences that kind of summarizes where you're at, and then another uh, one or two sentences that is a question of where you should be heading so that they can confirm that, yep, you are actually heading in the right direction, keep going, or no, I wouldn't do that, I would do this, bingo. Now you've got your guidance, now you need to know where you need to course correct, and you head that direction. So the fifth and final mistake in video part three, i.e. the 17th mistake that you need to avoid as an affiliate marketer that you absolutely must avoid is following professors instead of entrepreneurs. Now, what's a professor? Okay, you're probably wondering. Now, we all know what a, a professor is. It is somebody in university who teaches based on theory. Most of them anyways. Not all professors are like that. We know that. But Here's my point. My point is that a lot of them have information that are theoretically based and not practicality based, right? So they, they've got all the information, all the knowledge is in their head, but they've never actually gone out there and done it. So you don't want to follow people that like that. You want to follow entrepreneurs, people who have been in the grind for years and they know exactly what it's like. They know how difficult it is. Beyond the same, talking about these 17 mistakes, I've made every single one of them, okay? And that's why I'm here happily sharing this information with you. I want you to be in the same boat. I want you to head down the same direction. So you make sure you follow entrepreneurs, not professors. Entrepreneurs are people who have actually done it, who have been in your shoes. They know exactly how difficult it is and what you need to do, what's, what's the next step that you need to take, and they're the people that you actually want to follow. So that wraps up this series, 17 mistakes made by affiliate marketers that you absolutely must avoid. If you've got any questions whatsoever, make sure you comment below this video, but more importantly, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to be part of this month's prize pool of over $1,200, make sure you comment and I'll, I'll put you in the, uh, in the draw. Turn on those notification bells and at the end of the month, I'll be doing a draw and I will release the video for you to check out whether you've won or not. All right, so take care, much love. I trust that you enjoyed this video series. There is a lot more coming. We will be starting the next video series tomorrow. Peace.